Hello, my friends! Welcome to the ultimate guide on how to not win a game. Sit tight and watch carefully, because this knowledge is top secret and only shared among the pros seen in epical glory and below. Take notes if you will, because this is going to show up in the exam. Let's not waste any more time. Stage number one, the drafting phase. To feed the enemies, you have to pick every squishy hero available in the game. It doesn't matter if your team already picked a marksman and is lacking fighters or tanks. Instantly lock in Layla. Well, it doesn't have to be Layla. Just pick your favorite wife in the game. Hanabi, Eudora, Hilda, Chang'u. FBI, open up! I won't even judge if you pick Balmon as your waifu. After locking down your hero, make sure to pick the wrong emblem and battle spell. I recommend the arrival spell for teleportation and the magic emblem so she can cast magic spells. Because as we all know, Layla is secretly a gratitude from Hogwarts. She need to be able to operate and surprise her enemies and cast Avada Kedavra to the enemy's tank to get that one hit kill. This will be a broken combo, guaranteed. She also has many awesome skins that will make her even more OP. To get them, you should re-download Mobile Legends with Aptoid, so you're able to get more diamonds for your money. The download link and step-by-step -step guide is in the description box below. What about the banning phase, you asked? You don't need to know anything about the banning phase. There's no such thing as pick or ban heroes. So just ban the heroes that you don't like. Like Yin, Hanzo, Nana, Aldog or Eamon. There's no such thing as meta heroes anyway. All heroes are equally OP if you play them correctly. If you lose while using Gord, it means you suck and have no skills, right? You need a deep understanding and a high IQ to use Gord. That's by the way the reason why God's legendary skin looks like it's straight out of the galaxy brain meme. You mortals just don't know how to position yourself and how to utilize his Kamehameha skill. Even the official Mobile Legends rank states the fact that God is superior, especially when you compare him to those so-called meta heroes like Valentina. Checkmate for you God haters, you're the clown. <coughs> <coughs> Stage number two, laning phase. As a mage Layla, the first thing you need to do is take the jungle creep at level one. You need to hinder your jungler's growth so you can reduce their farming area as much as you can so they won't steal your maniac or savage in the late game. Especially after the jungler can't farm in the lane anymore after the recent adjustment. Don't let them take the spotlight away from you because you are the star of the show. After winning that epic battle against this boss minion, you need to return to your lane with your near death state. This will help your enemies to take you down without much effort. Let them have their way in the early game, because you are the protagonist. And you need to prepare your typical anime comeback story. There's no way you will lose the game, especially because a fat 1-1 one -one can't hurt anybody. Repeat this process of feeding and let your enemies farm on your gold shield turrets. You don't need to worry about a thing. Layla is a multi-talented individual. She can be a marksman, a mage or even a tank. Just look at my latest tier list. You can clearly see that she's part of the Roma list. Now that you are under front AF, you need to take all resources on the map for yourself, including all the jungle creeps and minions from the other lanes. You're a fan of the forgotten Bruh. funneling hyper carry strategy after all. So just leave your lane, start rotating around the map and look out for kills. Defending lanes is boring anyway, and kills give you a lot of gold in no time. So live your short life on the thrill and chase the adrenaline by fighting any enemy you see. As you're the ultimate marksman mage tank Layla right now, you can also start taking over the tank's job. Casually walk into every bush to open up the map. Because you're not a virgin weep, you have to touch some grass even inside of the game. Some enemies might be waiting inside of the bush, but when you just died once more and ate a load of mud and your allies start to ask why you're so bad, just tell them that I am pro, be quiet low, don't worry about them, just wait till your full build is ready. Even the clueless cat knows Layla is unbeatable in the late game. Stage number three, mid game. Things might not look too good for your team right now. For some reason, the enemy's marksman deals an insane amount of damage. They must be using some kind of plug in or cheat. Don't forget to report them for dealing too much damage after the match. You can start blaming your teammates at this point. Avoid too obvious trash talk and bad words though, because you can get reported for this. And you don't want to get reported for spelling out the truth, because it's obviously their fault we lose right now. What they the didn't protect doing? the Queen Layla. 
Keep ignoring any so-called objectives nope. like turrets or the turtle. You're allergic against oh seafood no. anyway. So don't let Uncle Roger start to say hiya to you. Uh, hiya. And turtles are endangered animals anyway. So avoid killing it at all costs. Protect our nature. Save the planet's future. Say no to industrial while the enemy starts to dominate your team and invades the jungle, you should keep ignoring everything and farm anything you can get your hands on. Also, start killing those huge minions that are coming from the base. This is another cheat activated by the enemies. They got bigger and stronger minions. Moonton really needs to do something against those cheaters. Report them all! So, what if your teammates got destroyed in a 4v5 teamfight? Just ignore the calls for help from those unworthy creatures because you don't need to care for them. They didn't help you at all in the early game as well. Also, don't forget to spam well played to everyone whenever one of your teammates died. It's their fault for dying that many times, so they must endure those sarcastic comments. Hopefully, they will start to understand how noob they are. Just keep taking the blue and red buff whenever possible. Especially if your team is using Ling or Fanny as their jungler. They should be stopped being so obsessed with their blue buff. It's not like they own it. Everyone who wants it should be allowed to take it. And don't forget, you are the protagonist and the star of the team. Your time to shine will come soon. And you will be able to make the ultimate comeback. I mean, you've seen enough TikTok videos. If they can do a 1v5 with Alucard in every match, surely there's no problem doing it with Queen Layla as well. Because now, the stage number 4, late game starts. I'm surprised myself we even reached this stage. The opponent must be pretty good, holding up the match until now. If you used all tips until now, I'm sure you won already 80% of your matches before this stage even started. All you need to do now is taking over the leadership role and ignore all of those brainless teammates. Boss them around and tell them to initiate a team fight for you. And make sure to stand in the front line of every fight. Don't forget that Layla's secret role is a tank role. So even if the enemies attack you, they surely can't do anything White against you out. anymore. Well, after all of your turrets got beaten down, because you noob teammates don't know how to defend them, it's finally time for your glorious comeback. I said it's time for your glorious Come back. Okay, that summer didn't work. Maybe we need more farm. So let's just get these minions while our teammates pointlessly try to get the Lord. My wife is just too awesome. After farming so much, it's finally time for our glorious comeback. Victory! Holy shit, we actually won this match? Uh, I mean, well, of course we did. And it was all because Queen Layla is such an OP hero. And because of my godlike skills with her. <laughs> oh, wow. Wake up, bro. You're not winning anything like this, son. I would be seriously amazed if you even reached the late game after you followed any of those advices. If you just thought for a second that any of those things I said made any sense, you really need to check out my real guide about seven deadly mistakes that you need to avoid at all costs. And if you just had a fun time enjoying every mistake all those epical glory noobs do all the time, you should still check out the real guide because it's really helpful. See you over there!